Alright guys, today we're doing a science video. And a video that's honestly going to be pretty important to me and what I do in the future. As you can look over here at the whiteboard of integrity, we are doing a 70 pound bow versus a 60 pound bow and the pros and cons of each. We're going to test the speed of each, the drop of each, as in the arrow drop, penetration, ease of pull, ease of holding, and volume, which is how loud the bow is. Now this is going to be really cool because we have some clear ballistics, which is ballistics gel, and we're going to be shooting an arrow, two identical broadheads, both brand new. And we're going to see 60 pounds, how much does it penetrate, versus 70 pounds, how much does it penetrate. There's a lot of people out there that shoot 70 pounds. Today we're going to test, are the drawbacks of shooting 70 pounds actually worth what you gain? Okay, so this is important to me because over the past three years, I've been shooting my bow a lot and i've been shooting in the range of 60 to 70. i've never really went less than that never went above that but one thing i can tell you is that shooting 70 and shooting 60 there's a lot of differences in the way that it feels i would be shooting 70 i can pull it back pretty good and everything and you know i could shoot pretty good groups and with a 70 pound bow i can still at 20 yards put a group about like that which is pretty good i think about a two inch group well i went and i turned it down to 60 and my groups went down to that like i was literally knocking arrows this all happened about five months ago exactly and so now i want to come out here and do a formal test and depending on our results i may be taking my new bow which is in the house right now taking it down to the bow shop and making getting some mods and so the first ones we're going to go for is ease of pull ease of holding and volume i have a bow tester thing right here a little weight thing a scale i'll put it on right now i believe it should be around 60 but if not i can adjust it all right very easy 60.7 all right, I'll do it two more times just to, you know, stay consistent. All right, there we go. 60.8 and 60.38. So right around 60 pounds, a little over. The arrows we're going to be using there in this test are two Eastern Axis 5 millimeter, 400 grain total weight. That's a, that's a pretty average, pretty common arrow weight. First thing we're going to do is I'm going to pull it back at 60. I'm going to hold it still at 60, and then I'm going to let it go, and we're going to test the volume. These three, we don't have any equipment to figure these out, but we are just going to go by relative to how it feels to me. So, so ease of pull, I'm going to rate it out of one to, one to ten. It's very easy, guys. It's like, it's 60 pounds is very easy. As for holding it still, let me see what I can do. Pretty solid. I'm not straining or anything. I'm not shaking. Just natural movements. Now I'm going to let it go and we're going to see the volume. Maybe the volume is a big difference. Maybe it's not. I'm not going to write down values for those until I turn it up to 70 and see. I think I've just got to crank this thing all the way down and it should be 70. This is a 60 to 70 pound bow and I've had it on 60 for a while. So while I'm doing this, a common flaw in our science experiment could be that, you know what, since I'm using the same exact bow and same exact arrows, it could be tuned for 60 and not tuned for 70. And that's true, but just for this test at the distance we're shooting, I don't think it's going to be the biggest deal in the world. If you guys do think it's going to be the biggest deal in the world, you can go get a block of ballistics gel yourself and do it, I guess. But I'm just doing this for me, and whatever the results are, if I feel good about them, I'm going to act on them. So We should be around 70 pounds I will use the scale to make sure we're at 70.64 y'all can check it in case you think I'm lying yep all right pull it back two more times to make sure and 69.44 69.78 I can tell you just from that it gets a lot harder. 10 more pounds, which is what? 12, 13% more weight? It makes it a lot harder, guys. I don't know why, but I'm gonna pull it back, hold the pin still, and then shoot it and we'll test the volume. Here we go. See, like I can pull that back no problem if I had to, but if it costs me a little bit of accuracy, I'd rather not. Holding the pin still. I am starting to shake a whole lot quicker. And as for volume, I wasn't listening. And I couldn't really tell. To me, it was about the same. Yeah, all right. So we'll put five and five. I think volume's more or less your bow. Ease of pull, I'm going to say three. 
for ease of holding, I'm gonna say a three. Like, I mean, I can hold it still. I can hold it plenty still enough to kill a deer, even at 40 yards, if the deer didn't move, by the way. I can kill a deer with it. But can I hold it rock solid? No. Ease of pull with 60 pounds. I'm gonna literally put that at like an eight. And I'm not kidding. Big jump. Big jump. Ease of holding, I'm gonna put it at like a six. So not a huge difference, but a difference. Whenever I say that, that's what that's how it feels to me. And a three versus an eight of ease of pull, that's the difference between being able to shoot 30 shots a day and as many shots as you have time for. Like there's been time whenever I'm shooting a seven pound bow practicing, I'm like, you know what? After so many shots, I'm kind of shaking. I'm like, I can't practice anymore. I'm just slinging arrows and hoping. I've never hit that wall with 60 pounds. I've never been able to shoot more than I have time for with 60 pounds. Ease of holding, like I was saying, here it went from a three to six, but even in, when I had more time to test, I went from groups like that to hitting my arrows. I broke a lot of arrows whenever I went from 70 down to 60 the same day. That's why I'm doing this test because I learned a lot from that day. For this next test, we're gonna be testing speed and drop. And once again, we don't have hardcore metrics for the speed, okay? We don't have a chronograph. If you don't know, a chronograph, I think, is the that's the word for it. It tests speed, okay? It's two lasers. It shows you when it goes in, when it goes out, and tells you how many feet per second. Bows shoot roughly 270 to 300. It's right in there. But we're going to do a more real-world test. We're going to go back to 40 yards. We're going to shoot. We're going to take the camera back inside and compare it to how fast a deer can drop. So we're going to have a real-life hunting simulation to see how much quicker is 60 versus 70 in a hunting situation and how much does it really matter. So first thing, let's step back to set 40. We're going to step back to 40. While we're back here shooting, we're also going to be testing drop. I'm going to be standing at 40 yards, both with 60 and 70 pounds. I'm going to aim with my 20 yard pin, and so we're going to see roughly how much it drops from your 20 to 40 with both weights. First, we're going to be starting off with 70. All right, here we go. Once again, I can pull that back no problem, but 60 is just a whole lot easier. All right, now we're gonna shoot another arrow just to verify. I don't know about you, but I think for 40 yards, that's a pretty good group. It's pretty, it's pretty safe to say that's where the arrows are hit. So I'm gonna do like a one inch circle around that to mark where we're hitting with the 70 pound. Roughly right in there. With that exact bow set at 70 pounds, the difference between your 20 yard pin and 40 yard pin is gonna be about that much. 30 is just gonna be somewhere in between. And I'll mark it 70. If 60 just happens to be right here, maybe it's not such a big deal. But if 60 happens to be down here, maybe it is a big deal. Next, we're gonna bump it down to 60 pounds, shoot these same two arrows, then we'll compare how much they dropped, then we'll go inside and we'll see how fast each arrow is in a practical hunting manner. So 66 pounds. 66 pounds is significantly easier than 70. So maybe 65 is a nice little sweet spot. But for today's test, we're going on down to 60. One, two. There we go, we're at 60. Ethan, what are you thinking about this science experiment? It's going, I don't know too much about bows, but. Okay. Yeah. If you guys do like bows, it's about 12 months ago exactly, we did this video right here. It was another bow test, except in that one, we tested a heavy arrow versus a light arrow in ballistics gel to see which one actually penetrated the most. And we also tested out a bunch of different kinds of broadheads, like two blade, three blade, fixed blade, expandable blade, to see which one penetrated most and how much of a difference it actually made. may be important. We didn't hit the target, by the way. <clears throat> Dang, that's not the results I wanted to see. We'll send the second arrow to verify. Dang, walking up on the target. This ain't the results I was hoping for. So like this one missed the target completely, hit the wooden stand. If this one would have uh, been up a little bit more, I mean, the group is a little bit larger, I, that's not the most important thing right here. The most important thing is that that's almost double. 
the drop. There's six inches at least difference between difference, 70. Yeah. So what that means is that with a 60 pound bow, if you're 20 pins here, your 40 pin needs to be way down here. That's taller than a deer. At least with the 70 pound, that's not taller than a deer. You can get away with guessing at that and still hitting the deer. We'll catch you guys inside where we're going to analyze the speed of each compared to how much a deer can drop. But before we go in there, we do have to put the drop. About six inches of drop, safe to say. Yeah. But I'm, I'm gonna go out and say 11. It's a lot. Yeah. From 20 to 40. That's a lot. Now let's go inside. All right guys, we are inside right now and what you guys are looking at is my editing software. This is the thing that edits videos and stuff, but it's also gonna be able to let us analyze what's going on. So here's the two clips. This is the 70 pound. All right, here's the 60 pound. Doesn't sound like a big difference, and it may not be. We're gonna have to analyze it. But this is how we're gonna analyze it to see how important the extra speed is. This is of a hunt this year. The video's already be posted. It's actually this video. Pretty good buck, but here's exactly what happens. He was 40 yards away. I held right on him. I shot, and he ducked below. That was with a 60 pound bow. He ducked completely. So, from the time of the shot, which was right here, to the time the arrow got to him, which was right here, he dropped 16 inches in one third of a second? That's not right. No, it is right. The deer dropped 16 inches in one third of a second. That's insane. Regardless, let's go ahead and pull these over. I can cut this up to where it matches all lines up. This one's the 70, this one's the 60, I can line them up. Which one's faster? You can see the difference. 70's on the bottom, 60's up on top. Is there much of a difference? Not very much at all. Is either one of them quick enough to snipe the deer? Absolutely not. So speed, in this case, where I'm trying to be quicker than a deer, does the speed increase from 60 to 70 make a difference? No, it does not. But, does the speed increase from 60 to 70 make a difference on arrow drop? Absolutely, we already seen that. Speed is also directly correlated to penetration. Since we're shooting the same exact arrow, speed should be the only dependent factor in this test. I want to go ahead and make a guess though. Okay. I say they'll be at most three quarters of an inch deeper with 70. Three quarters? Three quarters of an inch. I'm gonna say 70 is gonna pound four more inches. I don't know. We're gonna based, test it though, because I have no Based on idea. this is like, not even like a tenth of a second. It is, to be exact, one eighteenth of a second faster. So that's like one twentieth, point oh five seconds faster at 40 yards. But a lot can happen in point oh five seconds. Yeah. A lot of energy can be lost. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna put identical broadheads on both of these arrows, shoot one into the gel with 60, one into the gel with 70. And this may be the most important factor, but at the same time, it may not be. That's what we're gonna find out. As the magic school bus once taught me, science is, is fun. Let's go. Speed, I'm gonna give it a 10 and a nine. I'm not really sure if that little bit in speed makes that much drop but we'll see what it does to the penetration. Both of our broadheads is this kind. They're both 100 grain fixed big blade broadhead. Here we go, I'm gonna get lined up with the gel. I'm gonna try to hit it right in the middle and um, we'll go ahead and mark this one with a, the one. There's a one on this arrow, so the one is 460. Here we go. Quick question, can a 60 pound bow kill a deer? Absolutely. Both a 60 and 70 pound bow can kill a deer easily. The, the, the real thing that matters is which one is easier to do it with. All right, so from this test, it went in a little over halfway. This is a 16 inch block, so it went in, the tip is about nine and a half inches. Well, we're gonna leave, we're gonna leave that arrow in there. We're gonna go bump it up to 70 pounds. We're gonna shoot them side by side and see which one penetrates most and by how much. I said in my prediction, I think it's gonna go four inches more. I think I'm gonna stick to that. Okay. What do you think? You still think? Three quarters of an inch. All right, we'll see. Yep, one more time. Yeah, we're good. All right, here we go. This is what the whole video has been leading up to. Here we go, ready? Yep. 
I believe you may have been pretty close to being right. You're you're closer to me, I'll say that. You can see right in here is where the tip is on that one. Right in here was the tip in. So it's about an inch and a half difference in penetration. From 60 to 70 pounds difference is one and a half inch of penetration. What do you think about that? It's pretty close. That's very close. But that's not the only difference in 60 and 70 pounds. So we're looking at a penetration of nine and a half and a penetration of 12. And just so we're clear, those measurements are not precise. Those are estimated guesses, but we're kind of just looking for a broad difference. So 70, we'll say 12 and 9.5. 70 versus 60 pounds. Volume the same ease of holding 60 pounds is twice as easy to hold still on target but the important thing is that i'm still able to be accurate enough to kill and that and at the end of the day that's what really matters ease of pull it is far easier to pull 60 pounds than it is 70 pounds you can pull it in more awkward positions you can pull it more often you can hold it more amounts of time 70 pounds penetrates roughly 22 percent more that's kind of a lot kind of a little penetration probably doesn't matter if you're hunting a deer if you're hunting an elk maybe it does we done our math wrong yeah. inch and a half that would be 11. would it yep <laughs> okay is that kentucky math teaching for y'all watching 11. well in that case wild guess around 15 percent more penetration maybe that's important to you maybe it's not drop this is important if you range your target before you shoot this really won't be a problem but if you don't if you like to guess guesstimate estimate that's a big deal that's almost double speed 10 and a 9 the flight of the arrow with 10 pounds more really isn't that much of a difference i heard that for every pound you increase you get two feet per second more that would only be 20 feet per second more that's not that much for time it's not but for drop it is apparently i mean if someone told me the difference was going to be double i wouldn't believe them but we came in here and tested it and i do believe myself so as for me i mean i can't get as many reps in with a 70 pound bow but I'm sticking with a 70 pound bow. I think it's a pretty safe bet. Watch this video if you want to. It's another really cool experiment. It's the one I was talking to you about earlier.